Hey guys, RC here. Well, I've got a dilemma on my hands. So we're still in the job hunt. Uh, so I wanted to kind of go back in time here a little bit. So you can see we're December 7th. So we're about two weeks ago uh, down here in the emails. I was, I was applying for a couple of jobs and I couldn't go back any more than this. But when you're unemployed, every Monday your uh, assistant your personal assistant gives you a list of clubs that might be a good fit for you. Let me move my microphone there a little bit. And uh, Wigan was not on that list, but you know, I, they were. They're not. They're not all that. You know, they're only a two-star reputation. So, and they're in League Two. So, you know, I gave it up. Gave it a go. Uh, the fans laughed off interest. I did get an interview from a relatively big club, FC Metz in France. Uh, and we'll talk about them a little more because they're the club that we're discussing uh, mostly during this episode. So one of the things, check, check this out. Um, they feel you would be an acceptable fit for the club's vision for the future. This is a result of your deep commitment towards signing first-team players no older than 23. However, there are concerns as to your suitability for our vision because you are apparent your apparent objection towards making set pieces an important part of the game. So uh, I did go to the interview, but let's kind of keep going through here. We want to kind of look at just some different things. Uh, so we have, you know, you can see all the firings. Uh, Stockport County. Uh, we applied with them uh, again, a two-star League Two job. I was I was really hopeful of going back to England. Uh, they uh, unsuccessful. Didn't even offer me an interview. Uh, Blackpool uh, was another one that I had gotten uh, passed over. And then here's that job. So you can see, uh, you know, we we did get a, a two-star offer here. Uh, good training facilities. Uh, I don't know what this is. Akayiri. Uh, they are in Iceland, from what I recall. They are professional. They do have good facilities. And I looked really hard at this one. Uh, in fact, you know what? Head coaches. Is he the interim? I, th I think he's the interim. The problem with them is it's their first year as a playable club. So if they go down, they disappear again. And I think a lot of this information is, I mean, they're coming from a lower Iceland league and yet they're two star with, with good training and stuff. That's kind of like, really? Uh, Cause you can see Northern Ireland, you know, they're a half star. So, you know, I don't, I don't know where, where that would come from, but I was kind of leery of that, but you know we could we could look and see if they're still available. Um, Tishy was a job that I did apply for that came on my weekly notification. I did interview. Uh, they were where are they from? Poland, two stars, basic, below average. See, that's what I was kind, and they've got a two point two eight million dollar value. So this is. This is a club I, I looked at and, and was hoping to get, uh, but that didn't happen. Um, Mets offered as a contract. I asked him for a week because I was waiting for some, uh, some other things. So Hearts uh, is another club. Telford United didn't interview me. Uh, again, league, uh, they're in the National League only one and a half star. So I was like, well, damn, if they're not even going to interview me, you know, I'm going to, cause I'm only one star, uh, uh, reputation. Right. So, and we have a below 500 record, you know? So, I mean, the fact that that, you know, gave me some, you know, is giving me some pause. Right. So we kind of went through here. Um, Wigan, uh, unsuccessful. I didn't even make the short list, so I didn't even enter, didn't even get an interview. Hearts fans laugh off interest. Uh, Leeds, of course, I would love to have the Leeds job, but I'm nowhere near that pro that yet. 
Uh, Mold, our old uh, our old senior affiliate uh, from our last club, Halson, got fired. Uh, let's see what else. Just kind of, I'm just kind of getting you guys up to date. So then uh, this one came up, and see, this is a two. These are two stars, but look at the payrolls. So I was like, man, that Iceland job is double or triple. You know, that's that's hard to pass up. So Mets has come calling again. Now, here's the problem. So, Mets is a three-star reputation club. However, they have fallen all the way down to League Two, and they are in administration. So, I actually have not recorded in two days because I got the email and I went, I need to think about that. So, what I believe this means is, I mean, we have a negative $14,000 transfer budget i think they've done that on purpose to where even if we adjusted the payroll to the maximum amount we would not have any transfer budget available because we can't sign anybody to any money being on administration work within the payroll budget sign players under the age of 23 set pieces yeah i'm not you know I don't like being held to set pieces. We can sign older players with limited contracts. Uh, this year, they want us to avoid a relegation battle, so they don't they don't want to get a relegated out of League Two. They want us to reach the tenth round. The problem is they were already eliminated. <laughs> uh, they already were eliminated in the seventh round. So I don't know if that's going to work towards me, hurt me and then work on financial damage next year. You know, basically for the ongoing, they just want to continue being a league two team and repair the club's financial damage by the end of three, two seasons more from now. So not the end of this season or next season, but the following season, basically have the club back on solid financial footing. Um, I don't know what kind of a two year contract. So they're showing some commitment to me because they know this is going to be a rough job. So that's positive. And then here's the flip side. They're a three star reputation team. I'm a one star reputation manager. I already know. And we know from previous experience that especially in FM 20 is going to give us a rough go in the locker room but if we do leave here it does help our reputation i think just by managing a more prestigious team than our current reputation so they're professional if we get finances fixed we should be able to maybe upgrade our facilities again but that's not going to happen for a while and we're probably looking at a two to three year deal. Best case, you know, best case scenario. Uh, this is not going to be something where we get promoted overnight. So if we go in and look at the club, uh, let's see, head coaches. All right, so they've got an interim coach. They've sacked their last two coaches, right? after two and a half years and after half a year. So he didn't get very long. He's only gotten this, this half of the season. I'm willing to bet he was probably on a two year deal, right? And he's unemployed. So they've let him go. He's a pretty good coach. Um, so, you know, former Tottenham coach, gee whiz. So I don't know how that bodes for us, right? I haven't scouted because I, I, I'm not on a staff right now. So we don't know what our guys look like, but this is our senior squad. Pretty limited depth wise. And of course, we're not going to be able to sign anybody. I mean, we'll probably, we'll be able to go after loanies. They've already got three. We'll be able to go after young free agents that are freeze. Basically what we were going after at Halson but with a lot more in the way of expectations, a lot more pressure. Um, 
I've never managed a team in, in administration. So I actually posted over at SI, what does that mean exactly outside of not signing free agents? And they said they could sell the stadium, they could restructure debt, they could take out additional loans to try to get, you know, back in good standing. You know, it's hard to, hard to tell. Uh, let's see. Now, if we also look at, so they were in League, League Un for a long time, pretty high up as well. Fell down to League Two, got relegated in 51-52, promoted right back up, finished fourth last year, and they're currently in eighth. So, you know, we're League Two and then League Un. Yeah, so we're in the second division in France. So that that bodes well. We're down near relegation, though. We're only two points off. But they are scoring goals, evidently. I'm just kind of torn, you know. Our top goal scorers, 4-18 and 2-5. and two and five. Unfortunately, and he's unhappy why. Wants to move to a bigger club. Wanted, wanted, loan listed, loan listed, loan listed. Do we have any second team? Wow, look at those freaking ratings. Oh, suck. All right, he's out on loan. Again, I can't see. Can't see anybody's ratings. Uh, let's see. Value. All right. So they've only got a few guys of value. Oh, wait. That's the second team. All right. So we've got somebody valued at $7 million. Five million, and then we drop off to one and a half, and then into nothing. Um, yeah, I just don't know. How's he done in the past? Five and twenty, nineteen and thirty-five. So he's done well before. He's just not scoring currently. I'm willing to bet. I mean, that's that's a pretty established track record, right? So he probably can score. I'm just torn whether to take the job. I really don't know. We've got guys loan listed. We've got guys transfer listed. Allowed 15 and 16. Six clean sheets. He's only given up a goal a game. He's not playing badly. But again, not knowing his ratings. Is there any way I can get... I'm willing to bet I cannot. No. I don't have a staff. So... You know what? It's a two-year deal. It may help my reputation. Um, I really don't want that. <laughs> I really don't want that. The, that's not even negotiable. Shit. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. I've already delayed once. But I just don't see anything else out there that would be maybe as attractive. I mean, you know... We haven't been able to even get into the National League in England, you know, even though we have English experience. So maybe coming back into the heart of Europe, France, Spain, you know, that gets us kind of back in an area that we want to be in. Let's take the deal, guys. Oh, God. All right, well, that took 15 minutes of your life and mine too. All right. 
into the boardroom. Eyebrows have been raised. They've been disappointing in League Two this season. All right. So they were projected fifth and were currently 16th, right? A lot of silverware. We're in a 30,000 capacity stadium. All of our youth is, is just bad right now. And that's probably because we're in administration and we're not putting any money in it. I would have to guess. Uh, let's see. So we do have some people joining on, on, a, on free transfers. So we're getting him. All right. Well, we'll come back and look at this uh, transfer listed or uh, incoming transfer. We have a lot of loan players. Okay, these guys are out on loan to other clubs. So we've got somebody from Ipswich Town, Stad Rana, Stad Rana FC Lorient. All right. And they're playing a 4-4-2, very similar to what we play or what we have had in the past. Preferred, favored required all right i'll have to remember this i'm sure when i go to offer contracts if i even look at anybody there yeah that's fine uh sure sure all right so i'm gonna go ahead and set everything up and we will be back uh, in just a minute. We'll try to get to a match and do one match today. So um, let me get everything set up and uh, get tactics in and everything else. And then that way you aren't sitting through that. So we'll see you guys back here for, in a minute. We'll go over the roster a little bit and it will uh, be game time. 